Hey, what's up guys? Justin with Tier 1 Gear and EDC Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the VDK Strix, which I gotta say is just an absolutely beautiful blade and an excellent design as well. I really wasn't a fan of the green at first, but man, it's just really grown on me. It absolutely looks beautiful with all the black hardware. Now you can see it has a satin tanto blade, which is made from M390 stainless. It has a wicked hollow grind, which in my opinion, hollow grinds and tantos go perfectly together. It actually has a trailing tip as well, which you really don't see on a lot of folding tantos. More or less on like the fixed blade tantos, but not really that much on a folder. Now, of course, it is a flipper, and it is running on ceramic bearings, which, again, the action is just so smooth on this bad boy. Probably one of the smoothest knives that I've held all year. And, of course, it is a frame lock design, and the handle is made from titanium. Now, the clip is not necessarily a deep carry clip, but this thing really has a thin profile and just basically disappears into the pocket. Now, it does have a titanium backspacer, which is kind of cool. It just pretty much serves as, you know, a little added strength in the pummel and to keep the knife more stable. Now, the overall length on this bad boy is 8.10 inches, with the blade being 3.875. The cutting edge is 3.60 with a width of 1 inch. Now, the thickness of the blade is 0 0.155, so it's definitely a stout little blade. I mean, you can see where the blade stock is right there. It's definitely a thick little knife. You really can't tell because of the swedge, but, you know, that's just part of the design. Now, the handle length or close length is 4.50 with a width of 0.75 and a thickness of 0.51. Now, the weight on this bad boy is 3.505. Which is an excellent weight, especially for this knife. It's somewhat big, I guess you can say. I mean, it's not really a huge knife, but, you know, it's long, I guess. It's more long and slender than it is thick. So, you know, it's not going to have a lot of weight to it. Now, the handle is really slender. And I was actually kind of questioning that when I first seen that. I was like, man, that, that can't feel that great in the hands. But, man, this thing feels absolutely wonderful. Even with that little thumb ramp right there on the spine, it's just, oh man, it's absolutely perfect. Now, compared to the bug out, you can see it's roughly right around a half inch bigger than the bug out. Or maybe a little more. Now, compared to the Deca, right around the same. Which, I will go ahead and throw in the Delica 4 for good luck. <laughs> it's almost an inch bigger than the Delica 4. And the one and only Para 2. So it's, honestly, it's close to the Para 2 size. Maybe a quarter of an inch difference at the most. So, again, it's it's somewhat long knife. But, it man, it just feels excellent. It don't handle like a big knife. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And check me out on Instagram for much, much more. Stay safe. See you guys on the next one.